Hey everyone, we are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we finally decided we'd had enough and it was time for some adventure. So we quit our jobs, rented out our house and sold pretty much everything we owned. And while most midlife crises end up with a sports car, we bought a narrowboat called Kimberly Joe. And along with our newest crew member, Willow, we travel all over the UK's stunning and beautiful canal network. It'd be great if you came along and joined us on the same ship, different day. Welcome to another vlog. Join us this week as we take an impromptu evening cruise. We explore the beautiful grounds of Great Linford Park and we enjoy the beautiful spring sunshine cruising through Milton Keynes. We're going to have a chilled out evening in front of the TV, a chilled out evening in front of the TV, a chilled out evening in front of the TV. Right, we just started sitting down <laughs> and we didn't know Milton Keynes at all. And like most people, we thought Milton Keynes is just like concrete and what is it? Cows. Cow, Con cows and roundabouts. Yeah, like concrete, concrete cows. Cows and roundabouts. Yeah, so we just thought it was that, and then we just sat down and watched a couple of um, vlogs because we don't have a clue where to stop. It's the first time really, not a clue where to stop. And everyone's raving about it, and it turns out that about two miles away or about three miles away, there was like a really lovely mooring. So the pain in the backside is we've got to take the. Um, Cratch covers back down again. Um, but we decided to go because the next two days it's like sporadic rain. You know, like England gets in spring, famously spring showers. Um, so this is all right this morning, but it's not great. We don't want to be stuck here for a couple of days, do we? No, and that's the thing. So we're thinking, um, spur of a moment, let's take it down and let's get going um, while the weather's nice. It's and sunny. Yeah, and get to Milton Keynes. Yeah. Which is cool, we, we kind of like this. We've did, done this before. When we was at Abingdon, we did it. Um, it's just nice sometimes to just go, Joe, you know what? Let's just let's move, let's just go. It's one of the advantages we got. One, one of the reasons we don't live in a house anymore. So come and join us again. Let's see how it goes. Just leaving Old Wolverton. There's a pub on the corner. It's a beautiful evening. It really is a lovely evening. I was just saying goodbye. It was a nice walk we had with her, wasn't it? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, we had a lovely walk with Willow over on the Great Ooze um, Country Park walk. Really nice, we were able to let her off because it was quite a secure place. Really cool. So once we got back, we settled down and now we changed our mind. Yeah. It's such a lovely evening and the, earlier on, the wind was horrible, the rain was horrible. Um, so mooring up was great, but now it's bright sunshine, no wind. Yeah, and Con. Milton Keynes, well, it might, we might turn up and it's nothing like it, we've been conned. But it looked lovely in those vlogs we were watching. We watched about three vlogs, every one of them, it looked beautiful. Well, the parklands look really nice around the canals, so it'd be a nice, n nicer place if we're stuck because of the weather. Yep. Yeah. And Willow's all ready. She's like, yep, yeah, let's do this. Got a basket out with us as well now. About three miles. And it should take about an hour. Uh, this is always one of the weird things sometimes. We're on a boat. Right, and if there's people walking by the towpath, you basically go at the same speed. So these people here, we left our mooring and they're still there. Feels like they're kind of trying not to listen to their conversations. And there's a long way, I think, before they're going to go anywhere. So it's just going to be, oh, hello, hi again. <laughs> hi, hello, how are you? Yeah, okay. So yeah, there's like probably about four people there. We will be seeing them the whole journey, I think. I was told... No, don't worry, it's gone now. No, 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 it's fine. I was told this is a bridge I needed to get. And why? Just because of the number of the bridge. Honestly, this woman here used to be in a position of responsibility. <laughs> but she now finds Bridge 69 hilarious. It does look cool though, going back through there. It does, doesn't it? It's like, that's what I was doing it for. Oh, that's what you're doing it for. Right, say that to the camera, go on. See if they that's believe you. That's why I said get this bridge. It's uh, a nice looking bridge. Oh, I see. Right, nothing to do with the number. No, I don't even know what that number means. It says more about you than it says about me. 
seriously. No one's going to believe you. Why are we going too slow? <laughs> You just let her. It was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know we still weren't speeding, so it's fine. <laughs> I'd be really fussy, I'd have to really cherry pick one. What is this? And we just literally just saw the vlog, didn't we? Who, who yes. is this? Queen Victoria's train shed. That's right. Basically. It was used to house her train, basically. Yep. And it's Narrow Escape, do a really good vlog on it. Yeah, really. If you want to check it out. I think he has um, connections to it at some point. So, yeah, watch that vlog. It's really, really good. Yeah, obviously, watch ours as well, though. Mind you, <laughs> if you're listening, if you just heard what we just said, then you are watching our vlog. So, I don't need to tell you to watch our vlog because you are watching our vlog. But just in case you don't watch the other vlog, you might want to go and watch the other vlog. It says about the green paint on those, which actually that colour is really popular right now. You see it everywhere. It was on the uh, brickwork, wasn't it, to hide it from the bombers? Oh really, is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. And then like, conversely on the other side, something ultra modern. Yeah. It's a beautiful looking building. The old train stations, no wonder like Harry Potter. Use King's Cross. But it's so elegant, aren't yeah. they? Train stations from the past. The pigeons when you go under some of these bridges. many of them I think they're starting a coup. Oh, oh come on. This is Great Linford, Milton Keynes, believe it or not. Um, these are private moorings just here on the right. There should be moorings straight after it, but if not, we'll moor up just down there on the left. And there's a bridge just, just past that that we'll be able to go across. This looks lovely though. This is still private. We're here, Tony's just off taking Willow for a walk there. Um, it was a lovely cruise actually. I'm not keen on just moving last thing at night in case we can't get a mooring, but it's really, really lovely. We're in a nice spot um, uh, just past Great Linford Hall. So those moorings were just down there, but yeah, it's beautiful. 
really quiet, lots of birds just finishing off their song for the evening. So we had a lovely cruise, we're settled here for a couple of days now and um, yeah, really pleased that we did it in the end. First night of day in Milton Keynes, the canal is right behind us, it's lovely, really nice mooring. So we're just going to have a walk down, look at the castle thingy that we saw yesterday. Yeah, great, I think it's Great Linford Park we're in, I think we're roughly there and yeah. uh, there's some sort of old building we're going to go and have a look at. But it's beautiful, green, the rain's supposed to come this afternoon so we're getting out now while it's sunny, it's cold. It's cold. cold today, yep. um, but the sun is out, so let's go. You want to see the size of the horses around here as well. <laughs> Such a deal. Come on, pup. So it's a lovely walk so far. We've come from down there across the bridge and there's our floaty home, sitting in the sunshine. Panels are down today because it's supposed to be very windy. So this tree here could be up to 450 years old. And I reckon it is a hybrid of a small and large leafed lime or a linden tree. And if you can see a little blue tit has made its home in there. I wonder if it's going to pop out. Oh, there it is. These are the moorings we were going to try and stop at, but you can see they've all gone. There's only two of them which you can get. You can reserve that one there, and I think that one next to it is a 48 hour mooring and then all the rest are like um res like not reserved moorings that they just keep residential so you got residential 48 hours and then you book that one cool name on that boat as well five o'clock somewhere jimmy buffet He's bigger than you isn't he yeah, cool. this, you haven't seen the puppy. So this whole area um is was in the Doomsday Book and they found loads and loads of uh, medieval remains and things when they've dug and when they've been building new things all around here and we'll be popping to here this afternoon if it's not raining too much Where are you off to now? Pick up a car Haven't you already done that? Um, I wanted to improve my fitness a little bit Oh I see, so you've done it twice but didn't bother getting the car? No, no, I thought I'd go to pretty much to the car, come back, <laughs> and then oh. go to get the car. I just want to check, you got the key? You got the car key? Yeah, I've got the key. Good, you want to double check that before you leave? <laughs> no. Or perhaps you want to improve your fitness some more and do it three times? OK, so maybe I forgot the key the first time. <laughs> right, bye. Be safe. Get muddy. <laughs> Right, get your head back inside. No, you're going to hurt yourself. Go inside. Go inside. <laughs> right, I'm going to go because she's getting excitable. Have fun. Again. Bye. Bye. Got the key. <laughs> Got the key. So I'm back for the second time. Um, it was so annoying, so <laughs> annoying. I got about a mile away, so I did three of the four miles before I realised that oh, I haven't got the key. So I had to come all the way back, gone all the way back. The last bit, my quads, my thighs, felt like lead. So, yeah, back on the boat. I see it as, like, preparation for Saturday when he goes to play football. It'll be yeah. fitter. a little bit of training, a bit of training, Escoid. <laughs> Trying to get rid of some of the uh, winter fat I put on uh, <laughs> to get me through the winter. Um, yeah, so back to the boat, just in time. It's just started raining again. I literally, I've been back two minutes. Put the boat, uh, put the boat away. Put the boat away in the bike, um, and yeah, back here. I, was, I can't believe these Milton Keynes. It's kind of like a bit of a, um, a bit of an illusion because, like, just now I've had the drive. It, the outside world in Milton Keynes is exactly how you'd imagine it. But as soon as you get down to the canals, it's absolutely stunning. It's just park after park after lovely pub after lovely pub. So it's going to be really nice going through it for the next few days.
So Tony's been really, really busy this morning, um, emptying our bilge. The last few days have seen some quite heavy rain and um, we had the bilge pump go off last night. So down there, that little white thing, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little white thing. That's a bilge pump. And what that job is, is when the water gets to a certain height in this area, in the engine bay, it senses it and then it just pumps the water out into the canal. Luckily ours works because this was had how many buckets? Four buckets. Four buckets of water in the end. Four buckets. Four of those buckets of water we took out of it Probably this morning. Probably six inches deep it was, I reckon. I reckon six inches deep. And that's just from the rain. So what happens is these channels are supposed to take the rain down the holes at the end, out into some channels into the canal. But if they get blocked, the water just pours into the, the bilge. So muddy tow baths. Yeah. Uh, muddy tow baths mean that we bring mud onto the deck, the rain washes it into the bilge, into these channels. And it just gets really dirty but it's all clean and dry now as you can see disgustingly rusty we have to treat this this summer that's one of our summer jobs another one and uh but yeah it should be better now but yeah luckily we've got a working bilge pump otherwise we could have been knee deep in water <laughs> It's got a nice little background there as we go past some lovely little cottages here just by the side of the water. What day is it, Son? It's Saturday. It's Easter Saturday. Saturday before Easter Sunday. Yep, so I rose early this morning. <laughs> um, rose early? It's Easter. Oh, okay, the Sunday rises. Oh, right, okay. So I didn't, yeah, forget that then. Just walk, right, all, well, over, walk all over my joke and then tell the dog <laughs> to sit in the middle of it as well. <laughs> she scratched your pocket for some treats. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so we are... We rose early, right, you were going to say. We rose early because it's Saturday. Yep, yeah, I'm supposed to play football today. Um, but, shock horror, another game called off with rain. So, uh, we were going to move tomorrow. Um, but the weather was nice. And we thought, why not move today? Well, yeah, we, we've explored Linford, Great Linford Park. We've been around it a few times. Um, so, on to pastures new. Yep, yeah, so we're going into, first of all, it's... Is it Gifford? Gifford Park for the services. We're going to empty the toilet, get rid of the rubbish. I don't know how quick... Why does rubbish build up so quickly? Yeah, it does build up really quickly. Really quickly. Um, get rid of the rubbish, empty the toilet. We're going to fill up with water again, even though yep. we haven't used much, but the washing machine is on. So we're hopefully that will finish by the time we get to the water point. Yep. Might even put another load on and be a bit cheeky. Yeah, so... <laughs> and I, this is really close. So like, we'll probably go around this corner and it'll be there. Um, which is why we didn't. We were. We thought originally to stop there, but we saw someone the other day in the park, and they said um, to move on. Yeah, is it? Was it Isabel? Alison. 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 Met Alison. She's going to do an article in Towpath on um, Willow on yeah. the boat, which is kind of cool. Yeah, she's got a couple of rescue dogs, and um, she writes like sort of once a month for them. Yeah. So that's quite cool. So yeah, Willow's so going to be famous in Towpath magazine. Yeah, and she's right now just tearing up some paper at my feet. So I'll that's have to it. do with that in a minute. Oh, and then after we've been there, we then go on to... It's the new... Campbell Wolf? Yes, for like a new wolf, I think. <laughs> it's a weird mixture, though. You get, like, these beautiful, like, cottages by the side, but then you get some quite kind of, like... Um, 1970s build. Yeah, 1970s. Like, we, we had a house in Thamesmead, and um, it reminds me a bit of Thamesmead as we come through here. Um, but, yeah, beautiful park. So we'll have to see what this one's like. Hose that goes to the tap feed. So I've had to cut that off and I hope I can fix it. Ah, oh, that 
That should fill up quicker now, then. <laughs> Careful. Today. We've um, never thought we'd see it, but we saw kingfishers, or a kingfisher, but they're too fast for us to catch. But beautiful, beautiful blue colours. There's butterflies are everywhere, a yellow one, I don't know what make that is. But yeah, really lovely. Spring is definitely here. Yeah. Definitely. I love the fact you said what make the butterfly is. Right, species. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a Nissan. But it's lovely and sunny. That's and lovely glorious. More. But you can see right through it there. <laughs> you can see they right through it. <laughs> He must really want that picture because he stayed in the water. If he stands out much longer, he'll start growing. So we were going to moor up just here. You can see Sonia behind me. But if I bring you round, just there behind me is like a little theme park. So there's just the noise. We think we'll probably just move on. Not far, only just like two minutes down here. Um, but yeah. The sound, the noise just puts us off a little bit. Right, so two and a half miles? Yep, yep, shouldn't be too bad. Just following the canal most of the way, I think. Yeah, they've got a cycle path, they? they've got quite good cycle paths in Milton Keynes. Yeah, really good. Right. Off you go, bye, be safe, have fun, enjoy yourself. Knock yourself out, not literally. We are um, moving on. The reason is, I'll get a bit close to the camera for this one, we just had a little walk down the towpath and there were some utes. <laughs> and we don't mind utes. We've taught utes, utes are okay. But these utes had balaclavas and were driving motorbikes. So we kind of thought, mm, it's not as nice as the last morning anyways. Beautiful day, so might as well move on, which is what we've done. We're parked in there. And yeah, lovely looking pub. Nice little beer garden now overlooking the boats in the wolf. Um, maybe on the way back we might stop off there. Yeah. Who knows? Well, it's Easter weekend as well, isn't it? So this bit is really, really busy. Yeah, yeah, that is the other part. And uh, so there's dogs and people everywhere. And newt. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and this boat here reminds me of a boat I had for my action man. Used to be able to play it in the bath. You wait for one shopping trolley and two come ons. Our first shopping trolleys that we've seen in the canal. We must be urban. Yeah, this is urban. So we're all for going slow. But the boat in front of us is going so slow, we actually pretty much have to turn the engine off and just drift at times. Green and yellow boat just here by the bridge. He's had a nightmare. There was smoke coming out of the back. He couldn't get through the bridge. Uh, in the end, he's had to get out off and try and pull it through. So we're now going to squeeze through the gap and then look for a mooring. 
Yeah, I think. I think it's probably off. So we had a lovely day today. Um, we found a lovely little mooring um, in Simpson, just under the bridge. Yeah, fantastic. We've just got back from a lovely afternoon in the pub. Um, really nice beer garden right next to the canal. You can pull up right outside it, um, and Willow loved it. There was like she got so much attention there, didn't she? She did. Yeah. So it was the plough. So thanks for watching, everyone, as always, and thank you to our new subscribers. Thank you to our old subscribers. Um, yeah, it really means the world to us. Yeah. So see you all next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.